Hi everyone. For the past few weeks, I have promised you that I will do an update on our retirement account. So finally, the time has come to show you what I've done, the tweak on the accounts, trade ideas that can help you, the themes that I'm looking for, what has worked, what has not worked, cash on hand to take advantage of opportunity or add to winning trades. So let's go, let's go deep. So I don't know if you remember guys, but all of those are retirement accounts. So as of today, uh, August 21st, so here we go, we are live. This is my browser. It's not a screenshot. Some people are well, skeptical as usual. So up 36%. $63,000 for the year of doing almost nothing using the power indicator, right? And using our own probability power indicators for entry and exit for swing trading and day trading. But in that case, it's really also for the long-term investing play for retirement, tax defer, and um, with tax efficiency and asset protection because they are within retirement plans, okay? Now, we are going to look at some of the changes we've made across account. So what I was doing is here are all the positions and we're going to look the cash on end. So let's look a, a little bit at everything quickly. So at and same, no changes, right there. We've had a nice entry price on at and We are collecting the dividend. Everything is okay. AMD. Uh, on the retirement accounts, on this particular account, I'll show you a retirement account with the company that is doing extremely well, right? I had 25 shares uh, on August the 5th, just before the market opened, <laughs> before they locked down uh, people on uh, Schwab and Fidelity, right? But I wish I had put more money. If, uh, AMD is really one that I want to build up for the next two years three years here on that cycle. I really want when we have more clarity with the elections and everything, each time there's an opportunity to buy those AMD 100, 130. We'll look at the probability power indicator. I want to continue building on the Google, adding money on Google because that plays in to the theme of AI arm um, as well. Um, you know, CrowdStrike was completely destroyed. Uh, I wish I had bought more shares there when it went to 200. I have two shares. Uh, we'll put a little bit more money on, on CrowdStrike. Maybe I was telling my guys maybe $1,500 to $2,000 at one point into it. You know, but when it was down to 200, you know, obviously this has affected the world. They are doing something very important for computer and network and cybersecurity. So when it's sold off or he has those lawsuits or those uh, dips, maybe I'm thinking on adding a little bit more. Intel, you know, has been really bad. Has been one of my biggest losers this year on Intel. You know, I still believe Intel will turn around, uh, you know, with AI and everything. I think that 14, 19 on Intel is a, probably a good bottom. So I will start looking for area on adding Intel and maybe build a position to 200 shares. You know, I always tell you, if you have 100 shares, it's all you need. When they split 10 for one, five for one, you know, you're, now you have 500 shares, a thousand shares. And then five years later, they do it again, five for one, 10 for one. Now you have 5,000 shares. And now you have like a... a yeah, yeah, that, that, whatever it was, 500, like five, five ton, 500, seven. And, and it keeps on going and going and going and going like this. And this is how you accumulate with wealth uh, in a very passive way, tax defer and tax free, because you get those splits, you get those splits, you get those stuff. And after 20 years, you're like, holy crap, I have 2000 shares of Google. I have a uh, thousand shares of Amazon. I have a thousand shares of Apple. And, and before you know it, you have a million dollar plus portfolios, guys, all right? 
So this is very important to look at it in that way. So one of my biggest one that has been working uh, very well, some of the two big winners that we've got, you know, it's thirteen to fourteen thousand dollars of the sixty-three thousand dollars in all the portfolios and all the accounts. See, this is two accounts. We have two accounts with Google, two accounts with Amazon. Um, Meta and Palantir. Palantir are really crushed Palantir. $10,000 in profit. Everybody was not listening to me for the past three years. If you look on day trading zones, how many videos I've posted on Palantir, guys, I gave you a lot, a lot, a lot of fair warning and opportunity to enter Tesla, Palantir, Meta, which I posted publicly on the trading view community, my uh, Meta entry in 2022, right? So all of this is doing well, you know. We have the world going crazy with geopolitical stuff in Russia, Middle East, blah, 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 blah. In the meanwhile, the portfolio keeps on going up because they are printing money. And if they are printing money and rates are going to go down and the dollar is going to go down, guess what? Assets are going to fly for the next two or three years. This is the principle. Uh, our marks, the market cycle, hold those $63,000 to understanding market cycle, having great indicators and processes for trading and investing, you know, that helps us enter and exit. You know, this is this is for a lot of people, a, an entire salary, $63,000. Now, forget the salary. Look at the rate of return. Warren Buffett for the past 20 years, the best investor of all time, 40 years, 20% compounded return. This is 36. So if I could do that, and we could do that every year, stay above the 20, I'll be ecstatic. Even matching the 20 on a retirement portfolio where there's no option leverage, no uh, cover cost, no puts, nothing, pure stock, doing this type of return is pr pretty cool. Of course, this is not a promise of what you will accomplish. I have experience. I'm doing it for myself. But... This is preaching what we do, you know, we, we trade every day, um, a few shares with prop firm accounts, which now we are funded close to $400,000 in prop firm account. Take the payout, take the money from those prop firm accounts and reinject them in asset into uh, 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 those assets that you see. So you grow the portfolio, grow the principle of uh, tax efficiency, uh, uh, splits and everything. So like now, I'm looking at, looking at AMD on the Pro Tool. It was a wonderful retracement here, you know, at the trend line almost. If we have one more dip at 123, you know, 115, I'm going to load on the uh, uh, thing here. So let me take a better pen. I want to add as much AMD as I can within the next five years into that trend line. Why? Because I think I'm going to get a lot of splits on this. Okay? I think it's going to help me. And eventually, at one point, it's going all the way here. It is at least 250 and above. So I'm really bullish on Palantir now, uh, Palantir AMD. Palantir, of course, has blown everything, and this is wonderful. Um, I still think there's juice. I have a 35 target on Palantir, but the truth is I have a 55 target. So... I'm looking at those two targets right now on Palantir, 55 and 35, right? And I think Palantir slowly, you know, keep buying the pullback. If it goes back here to 27, 29, guess what? Going to accumulate, 25, accumulate. And I keep on accumulating this Palantir size because I'm close to, we are close to just on the retirement accounts. I have more. I actually, all across all retirement accounts, it's a thousand shares. So yeah. at and let's go one by one. But I want to show you some of the stuff or so. We um, add a lot more cash available. And I want to show you also at one point. I made a big mistake also of this. Uh, when August 5th happened and we had that huge volatility spike, that was the Perfect time. See, nothing is perfect ever. It was perfect time to get rid of my 
1,499, almost 1,500 triple BITF. Because that, right, is almost $10,000 of cash here. And when the VIX went to 57, it went all the way to 950, which would have given us another, what, 225. So it was about $3,000 higher. So that was a critical mistake because I would have had $13,000. See, this is the big mistake I've done. I should have gone out of here when the volatility was 57. So you see, it's not perfect when you have a, a relatively uh, passive portfolio. But the for my defense, when I tried to get in, I couldn't get in after the, the market opened that day, but I should have got out the next day. You know, Fidelity, uh, Schwab, all those were hacked or whatever, and you couldn't get in on August the 5th. But I should have got it out of here, increased the cash position here, and then started buying everything. This is artificial intelligence, uh, uh, um, ETF, uh, and a mutual fund. I should have bought a lot more aggressively because look all the cash we have. 72 here, 13 here, we have 90 here. We had a lot of cash to deploy into the themes that I did in the retirement account pre-market, which was the AMDs, the Palantir, the Intel, the Google, because I'm trying to stay as much away as I can from consumer. And I have reduced consumer, like I got out of PayPal, which probably was a mistake because PayPal was so undervalued. Um, and uh, I reduced my uh, Shopify position from 50 shares to 25 shares. Um, and you can see it here, you know, when you compare the videos that we did on the power indicator, the 250 portfolio, you can see the positions here, what the positions here were. And then you can see and compare, oh, okay, how many share he had. And if you look carefully, and we look carefully together, you would see I reduced uh, this Palantir, not Palantir, PayPal, and this Shopify. And that's about it. We didn't really do anything else. The rest is about the same. Right. Uh, yeah, I reduced one of the Walgreens. Yeah, I had 225 shares of Walgreens. Now I have 100 shares. Uh, got out of PayPal, reduced a little bit Shopify because I increased my things on uh, Google. So if you look at Google, look, I have 85 shares, bought another 10 shares of Google. Uh, then we went in and we bought a little bit more shares on, uh, what was that, Arm. I bought some Arm. Um, put a little bit of crowd strike. You know, I want to stay within the, the, the theme of AI and um, and Tesla has been a really good one for me on the So here it is. A lot better. So you can see Tesla to 23 as of today. Uh, Palantir 30 to 50. NVIDIA, Block AMD. Like they're all on fire, guys. Like all on fire, you can see the PNL open at five thousand dollars for a twenty thousand dollar account, so they went up twenty percent. So AI has done extremely well. I, I think those four there. I want to continue building up the pyramid and the empire on those four. Uh, each time we pull back within our power indicator buy zones, you know, buy zones. Our power indicator calculators will tell us everything that I need to know to enter and fortify the fortress and keep on increasing this portfolio, regardless, hopefully, if the <laughs> Democrats are in power or the Republicans are in power, I don't care, you know. This is this is really the stuff that I've done, guys, is construct a life of freedom, a life where I rely on my tools, my experience. I can trade from anywhere in the world, whenever I want, with my computers and be focused and create some income. And that income, I reinvested in assets. Assets like this that are tax deferred, tax uh, free. It could be also real estate. You know what? I think with the entire economical cycle, three years from now, there's a lot of danger to own real estate. We go through the drunk period of printing again one more time. One more time, hooray, and then bam, 
you need to be careful of a 2029. So hopefully this update was able, helpful. Don't forget, guys, that every day we share wealth concept like this year on our school community page. You know, like today I made a thousand dollars with the prop firm accounts, and I was explaining my ratios, my win, my losses, everything using their money, not my money, using their capital, not my capital. If you want to learn how to create with this crazy world income without false promises, but how training, you know, boot camp training on how to go from zero to true wealth in four months using the indicators that are unique in the world, that are patented. Nobody has those indicators in the world, guys. This is why it helps me to have an edge that I use personally, which is very rare. You tell me the last time you saw a lot of gurus, they have great marketing, they have great ads, and they show you shit. Love you all, everybody. Join the Think World Differently community. It's free. It's below this description. This is the best thing you'll do this year for yourself and your family because within the next two or three years, the job market, the world will be very difficult. If you think those geopolitical events are going away, you are, you are kidding. They are going to come down. There will be peace there and there, and then it's everybody regrouping for more trouble. And this is just not me. It's the historical, the patterns I've read also with, um, uh, what's his name, Ray Dalio, on building empires you have to read you know you think there's a lot of doom and gloom in what i said but there's a lot of truth we are going to have crazy few months few weeks of printing money crazy pumping assets crypto will go up stocks will go up but the party when it ends will be very dangerous because in 1929 and i'm a big study of 1929 it took four days four days in the market to undo a lot of the gains that it did for the previous few years. And you don't want to be caught in those four days where all your super gains are gone. So being with a community, the Think World Differently community, where we trade futures with prop firm accounts up to 400,000 and funded right now, taking payouts and paying myself and reinjecting this income into retirement accounts. And the stuff I'm showing you is very, very powerful. And this is a skill you want before your job, your source of income, or the world gets a little bit crazier. You, you just feel more confidence to have this additional, you know, stool and skills in your toolbox. And by the way, since 90% of the traders lose money, in this case, 90% of the day trading is done with their money, not our money, so that we can use our money for long-term investing. So time is forgiving between our entry and exits. Okay? Tax defer, tax free. Hopefully that was helpful. Love you all, everybody. And I'll see you on the next event. Don't forget with the weekly events that are posted again here in the Think World Differently community. Each time we do a private event, you're invited right there. You don't miss anything, anytime, right? It's always there, ready for you. AMD and Palantir and wait for those splits because look, with Palantir, as of today, we have about a thousand shares, 700 something shares here, right? You can see, right? Imagine if Palantir at one point within the next five years comes with a 10 for one split, I'll have 10,000 shares of, of Palantir. It's a given, it's not when, if, but when I will have 10,000 shares of Palantir. You know, same idea on AMD, same idea for all the ones that are high growth and will continue splitting and splitting and splitting. Love you all. I hope this video was helpful. I will do a video on the prop firm accounts, the challenges of going from eval to funded account, from funded accounts to payout and recycling the cycle with stacking accounts. But if you want to learn a lot of all of it, again, nothing to lose and you're missing a lot every day, every day. Do not be part of this very exclusive, tight-knit, think world differently community that we have. It's probably one of the better format that we ever had. You love the format, everybody. You know, people interact, people post their results, people post their stuff. It, it's it's cool. You know, it's it's really cool. Like, see, uh, a lot going on year one, and it's still what makes how much? He still made two hundred and thirty-seven dollars. Okay, so $237 is about uh, close to $5,000 a month.
you know, sixty thousand dollars a year extra income for run. And on this one, he made one hundred percent. Uh, win ratio on this trade using the probability power indicator. So even though I cannot promise you anything, you know, seeing is believing. I don't like the BS promises. I think we're definitely community because you are missing tremendously for yourself and your family. Take care, everyone. Stay safe.